I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And we're, we're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brothers. Got a frog in my throat. Behind every song, there's a story. Here's a story about a song. It's a truth and it's been recorded of where this song came from. The place was Harrison's Land in Virginia. The time was 1862. Darkness had fallen on a battlefield. No one could tell the gray from the blue. Each side remained behind their lines while the wounded lay out there crying. But Union Army Captain Robert Ellicombe wanted to save someone from dying. So in the dark under fire, he crawled out feeling the first soldier he came to. He managed to drag safely behind his lines, but his uniform was not blue. He lit a lantern to help the lad, although his uniform was gray. But his effort so valiant was a little too late. The young boy had passed away. Then it was like a bad dream to the captain. But with the lantern he looked on, a shock and fear came over him as he slowly realized this boy was his son. Yeah, the boy had left his home in the north to study music in the south. And he had got caught up in the southern cause when the Civil War broke out. He was ashamed to tell his dad thinking they'd never meet and what was the odds. But as the story unfolds, you'll realize it had to be the hand of God. Now the captain cried as he hugged his son, searched the pockets of his coat, and it's there he found a piece of paper with the song the boy had wrote. Then he requested from his officer a military funeral for his son. But his officer said he's the enemy. I don't see how this could be done. But out of respect for the captain, his officer partially agreed. Said there'll be no 21 gun salute, one musician and one song played. So the captain called up the bugler. Said there's a song my son has wrote. Could you play this at his funeral? The bugler said he could read the notes. Well, that song was heard for the first time that day, but it would not be the last been played at every military funeral from that day to this. And although a rebel wrote this song, he was an American nonetheless. And it's the last notes heard at every military funeral when we lay our soldiers to rest. And though the song had beautiful words, the words are never sung. Now you know the story of where this song came from.